Hey, what is up guys? I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.3.1. And to be honest, iOS 13.3.1 is a small update. We're not going to see any major changes. However, there's a few things that Apple is looking to address, as I mentioned. Now, the software, if you're coming from iOS 13.3 official, it's going to be close to four gigabytes of a download. This is not going to be taking away four gigs from your device, but rather overwriting the entire OS, okay? Now, of course, iOS 13 13.3.1 if you missed my coverage yesterday aims to fix an issue that allows anyone to bypass the new screen time communication limits feature that apple added with 13.3 13.3.1 hopes to fix a bypass where a teen found out that if you add a contact you can still contact that person that has been restricted under the screen time settings and communication limits so apple is looking to address that to be honest i thought 13.3.1 would have been released to the general public with no beta testing but it looks like Apple is finally learning their lesson and actually testing software, even if it's a small update to fix minor issues. And I'm happy for that. Now, don't expect too many betas for iOS 13.3.1, maybe uh, two to three betas. That's it. That's all I'm expecting for this software before Apple releases it to the general public. Now, Apple is also looking to address an issue with the privacy and the location services on U1 enabled devices. Now, U1 enabled devices, meaning iPhone 11. Now, that feature on the iPhone 11, unfortunately, keeps location services enabled. And Apple is set to be adding a turning off or an off switch for that particular setting in the privacy and location services, or at least that's what I'm thinking they will do. But as of yet, I don't see that toggle on the latest 13.3.1. Maybe they'll be coming here later down the road. Now, as I mentioned on yesterday's coverage, Apple was hopefully releasing 13.3.1 on the week of the 16th, but rather they're testing as beta one has been released today. As I mentioned, guys, don't expect too many betas, maybe two, maybe even three pushing uh, a golden master copy and then an official release. Maybe Maybe, maybe towards the end of the month if Apple does not take the week of the New Year's week off we'll see this software most likely be pushed to the general public on the first week of January sort of the December end and the beginning of January of 2020 but just a minor update guys don't expect a major changes just a minor toggle to turn off location services or maybe just a fix under the hood to turn that off automatically with airplane mode and a fix for communication limits this has been a quick update I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.